So I just got it into my head that I thought I might show you a quick uh, video on my home office setup. Some of you are going to be starting to work from home and it can be really, really bad for your body, especially if you're not really getting out that much and maybe you're going for a walk once or twice a, a day in the park. Now for me personally, I've been working from home for about seven years. Um, I do my kind of blog writing and videos and things like that at home. Uh, sometimes I do some coaching at home, but most of my paid work is uh, out in front of people face to face at the moment. I have some online courses, of course, and some books, but to be honest, they're not really um, hugely revenue generating at the moment. So I'm in the same boat in terms of like financially, it's a little bit worse, or it's a lot worse, I should say, uh, because I'm not getting any money. But what I wanted to share with you in this video was how can you set up your home office so that you can, as best you can, um, naturalize your environment. What do I mean by that? The reality is that when we are working in an office, working in a building, it's not living in tune with our natural being, our natural way of being. And um, so what I try and do is obviously be as natural as possible in terms of going out and, and everything else, but the reality is you're gonna be working at your desk for at least a few hours a day. So how can you mitigate the uh, negative effects of that? So, um, I just did this on the off, off the whim, so I'm not actually, I haven't even got a tidy room at the moment, but just to show you around a little bit, uh, one of the things that I would do is, um, firstly, if you can, have a standing desk, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? So you can see uh, this thing here, right? Hopefully you can see, let me just turn these lights off. Okay, I'll tell you what those are in a minute. Um, but this here is a standing desk. Um, you can see there's these uh, clips here uh, and it just means that you can put them up and it just means you can put them up and down very very easily um, I tend to have it in standing in the morning then some of the day I'm sitting and later on I'm standing you can vary it a little bit of course no standing all day is not much better than sitting all day but we've been sitting all day for years and years so standing is a little bit better uh, you can, of course, get treadmill desks uh, where there's a little treadmill underneath, goes about one mile an hour. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't really use that. So that's the first thing um, is a standing desk. Uh, this one is an Ergotron. Um, it's on my blog of crazy gadgets that I'll post somewhere below this video. And um, it is quite expensive. There are cheaper versions, but I've had this for about two, three years. I'm very happy with it. Uh, the next thing that I have here um, is uh, this light box here. I'll just turn it on briefly. Uh, let's turn this on. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, so you'll see it's it's pretty bright. Um, so this is replicating the sunlight as best it can. It's not that great compared to being outside. It's 10,000 lux, which is a measure of uh, luminosity, but it's only 10,000 lux when you're about... 10 to 20 centimeters away from it. I tend to have it on for longer during the day, so I'm not that bothered by the lower lux, but put it this way, on a sunny day like it is right now in London, it would be 50, 60 thousand lux. Um, normal light indoors, uh, if you haven't got a light box uh, right in your face, it's probably about 400. So we're talking between difference of 400 and 40,000 by being outside, so that's why it's really important to get outside when you can. But if you can't, or it's really cloudy, even cloudy days is going to be 2,000, 3,000. But if you are doing something at home, I always have the light box on when I'm uh, exercising. Um, so what else have we got here? Um, you'll see that my computer screen here, uh, I've got a separate keyboard, so everything's raised, so I don't have to kind of crouch down and look uh, and bend, bend my neck. That's one thing. The other thing I've got down here, or oh, if we get underneath here, you see this thing here. Um, is a red light and infrared light box. Um, and I tend to meditate in the morning, having it face the other way, and I meditate uh, bare chested and have it kind of like set up like that so that I can uh, meditate. But then when I'm working, I flip it around, have it under the desk, and basically I'm either in shorts or, truth be told, actually, I'm usually in tracksuit bottoms and I just pull them down, and I have it shining on my legs and my knees. And the reason for that is it can help with healing, and I, I do have an injury there at the moment. But I find the light box really um, 
energizing. It's, it's really good for the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cells to give you energy. So I have the light box shining underneath on my legs. I have the light box uh, for SAD, seasonal affective disorder, shining on my face, but not all, all day. Um, the light box will just be in the morning and it won't be all the time. It might be like in 15, 20 minute segments. Um, then I have the keyboard here. Um, I also have set up down here this little thing here is a little diffuser so you can put essential oils in there it can help you focus help you relax you put a few drops of essential oils some uh, water in there and uh, and have it steam uh, obviously i've got as much natural light coming through behind me as possible the other thing i've got up here it just looks like a normal light bulb but it was actually a really expensive light bulb uh, and it's a full spectrum daylight light bulb so in this room i have like a, a full spectrum light bulb in another room i've got a special night night bulb but in here i want to be awake and especially during the winter uh, i find it really good to have a full spectrum so it's trying to mimic it's a bit like the sad lamp it's trying to mimic as much as possible the uh, the, the being outside it's never going to be as good it's never even going to be a half as good or a quarter of good but it's certainly better than having just a normal light bulb I found I found I'm, I'm more alert I don't have as many headaches things like that um, so I have that light going on all day I sometimes have the SAD lamp I often have the, um, the red light stuff going on all of this stuff it adds price right it's not cheap um, but I've done it over many years, so I'm not suggesting you go out tomorrow and spend a thousand pounds on, you know, you know, three hundred pound on the on the um, standing desk, another hundred pound on the light box there, another two hundred and fifty on the infrared, another twenty quid here. I mean, it adds up, right? It's quite expensive. Uh, the other thing I, I've got up there, you can see behind me, is a mini basketball net. So it is mini. It's really tiny. Uh, you can just see it here. Oh. There we go. Um, so occasionally have some breaks uh, and 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 play a little bit of basketball. Um, I've also, when I come in and out of my room, I've got a pull-up bar here. So occasionally I might just do one pull-up. Um, the other thing I've got here down there is my rebounder. I've done a whole video on rebounding, why I love that. I use that every morning, uh, but also when I'm just in the day, uh, as I'm going in and out of the room or I just want to relax, you know, I just jump up and down on it a couple of minutes, maybe even up to five minutes. So do work for 40 minutes, go out for a walk maybe for five minutes, or if I don't want to go out for a walk, I'm going to jump on the rebound for five minutes, or I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. But ideally, moving every 40 minutes would be a great thing. So 25 to 40 minute segments of your work, five minutes break, uh, having some natural light, obviously I can get some air in here as well. Um, what else have I got going on here? I mean, there's a few other things in here, but predominantly they're the main things to help me try and make a uh, an abnormal environment, which is working indoors, right? We're designed to be outdoors and moving as normal as possible. So it's never going to be as good as the real thing, I don't believe, but it's better than not having anything, I also believe. So the light is really, really important for me. I, I found that managing my light throughout the day in the morning and in the evening really helps with sleep energy vitality everything uh, resilience um so yeah hopefully there's a few tips for you uh, a little bit of a window into my world and uh, let me know what you think and um best of luck with working from home and um yeah uh, have a great fantastic day bye bye